Hey there, Threadbanger. I've always been an insomniac, and now I'm marrying a man with, <laughs> bless you, severe allergies. So when I saw on the forums the request for a bedroom episode, I thought this just might solve both of our problems. What? Our bedroom is great, but I don't like the color, and there's clutter that distracts me and collects dust that aggravates Will's allergies. So this week, I'm gonna give the bedroom a refreshing coat of paint and create a clutter and allergen-free sanctuary. To get started, remove everything from your bedroom. Even remove the carpet if possible and air it out. If you can't remove the carpet, give it a really good vacuum. Now give your bedroom a good clean. Then try to do a follow-up clean once a week. If you have a ceiling fan or overhead light, this is a good time to give it a good scrub with a damp cloth and our natural cleaners from the spring cleaning episode. Good music is key. Choose a color for your walls that creates a nice, clean, relaxed feeling. Will and I picked a shadowy gray. Now apply painter's tape to your corners and creases to give you clean, polished edges. Remove all light switch and outlet covers. Once you're taped, get your paintbrush and rollers ready and go ahead and paint your walls. Ideally, use organic paint like Benjamin Moore's EcoSpec. Give your bedroom a day and night to dry out to prevent inhaling any fumes. Once your walls are dry, we can put the rug and mattress back in and we can start making our new headboard. Will and I want a fresh look, yet don't have the space for a whole new bed frame. So we are going to use contact paper to create a full look that is really just two dimensional. First, measure the width of your bed. Then measure about how high you'd like your headboard to reach. Cut your contact paper to give you a sheet to work with. You may need two sheets lined up side by side. Make sure those two sheets are the exact same size. Here's where you pick out the design for your headboard. You can have a rectangular headboard or a round one. For a round one, cut an arc out of the top of each corner. Once you have your shape cut out, slowly take the backing off of the contact paper and apply it to the wall. Carefully rub out any air bubbles that may pop up with a ruler. And voila, you have a brand new headboard. And when we return, I'll give you some other options for non-traditional headboards. So you ready to talk yet? I'll never talk to you, you filthy pig. I'm gonna give you one last chance before things get really painful. Do your worst. Tell me where the missiles are! That puppy, that puppies! We're in sunglasses, I know. I love this episode! See missiles. They're at the South Dock. Crepe Jail 332. It's just, I can't. It's so cute. It, it, it hurts. It hurts. Other options for headboards that are just as easy are stacked closet doors, as seen in Better Homes and Gardens. And apartment therapy shows how a simple curtain hung behind the bed makes a nice niche. Look how forum member Penguin transformed her old desk and added her own style to it. I love the plum color and modern design. You could definitely do this to your dresser and bring it into your new bedroom. Glamour on a budget. Here are some tips for creating your own luxurious room. Start out with your main items. I found my king size bedspread for under $40 and I created my curtains from crushed velvet fabric. Add accessories such as throw pillows covered in rich fabrics, candles, ornate picture frames, throw blankets, beaded lamps, and colored glass. I hope I've inspired you to create your own glamorous space. Awesome work, Aurora! For a more restful night's sleep, keep your bedroom as dark as possible with blinds or curtains and remove cluttered knickknacks to create a more peaceful environment. To keep allergies at bay, use natural bedding and wash it frequently in hot water. This week's quick tip, use your old hardback books as a cool nightstand. Now that our bedroom is peaceful enough to have a bedding demonstration, we wanna see what transformations you're making in your home. So send us your footage. But until then, sweet dreams. <laughs>